Now the, the this z this z can be this this can be two four dinitrophenyl. The, the if if the compound when when this is z then NH two z. How will NH two z look like? NH two z will look like this, and this will be called as two four dinitro phenyl hydrazine now if you look at this phenyl hydrazine and this this is same but for nitro group at second position and at first position this is carbon number one the carbon which is directly attached with hydrazine part this is carbon number two three and four so at second position and at fourth position you have nitro group so this compound is called as 24 dinitro phenyl hydrazine simple so they call it 24 dnp this is how you will see this thing to be written in your exam paper they're not going to write the whole thing they'll write it as 24 dnp 24 dnp is 24 dinitro phenyl hydrazine right this is a very very important reagent in organic chemistry in practical organic chemistry and we will be seeing the application of this very shortly once we complete this list. This is 2,4-dinitrophenylhydrazine, 2,4-DNP or they will just write as DNP or they'll write as 2,4-DNP. You have to know this. This is 2,4-dinitrophenylhydrazine. The compound, when this gets added on a carbonyl compound, the compound will be called as 2,4-dinitrophenylhydrazone. Phenylhydrazine, phenylhydrazone. 2,4-dinitrophenylhydrazine, 2,4-dinitrophenylhydrazone. Likewise, that's how the naming will go. And the last one in the list is, if you have, this as Z, then NS2Z will be, if we have, this as z then ns2z will be this this is called semi carboxide look carboxide is this compound when you have hydrazine part on both side nh ns2 nh ns2 you don't have NH and NH2 on both sides. On one side you have NH and NH2 and the other side you have just NH2. So this is carbazide. And this kind of compound is called semi-carbazide. Fine. When this gets added on a carbonyl compound, then, then that is called semi-carbazone. Fine. That's how the naming will go. The carbonyl, when this gets added on a carbonyl compound, how will it look like? It will look like this. These are the two groups of carbonyl compound. And there will be a C double bond N by this. So this is when when you have this 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 is a functional group, and this will be called as semi carboxide. Fine. So that's complete the list. The most important of these is this 24 DNP 24 dinitrophenylhydrazine. When this gets added on a carbonyl compound, that carbon that 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 the product is called 24 dinitrophenylhydrazone. And how will it look like? This is how it will look like. Depending upon the R group or the H, we'll have groups here and C double bond N. And the whole thing would be like this. The important thing about 2,4 DNP is it is orange to red crystal. So if you have a dissolved carbonyl compound in a solution and you have added 2,4 DNP, then a orange to red crystal will appear. Now this becomes a test. This is a test for carbonyl compound. And this is an important one. This test whether in the system you have a carbonyl compound or not. On adding 2,4 DNP, if you are getting an orange to red crystal, 
this confirms this confirms that there is carbonyl compound present in your solution or in your system now that carbonyl compound can be a aldehyde that carbonyl compound can be a ketone now which kind of carbonyl compound will not be is there will not be confirmed by this test you have to carry on more tests for that but this will surely confirm that there is a carbonyl compound present in the system so we will revisit this reagent once we study few more reactions and after studying few more reactions we will see how the ap application is done uh, for uh, for example suppose i have acetone and i have ethanol and i have ethanoic acid all into one solution and i have to test and i have to find out which kind of compounds are present there in the solution so i will start to use the test for all kinds of functional groups first of all i'll test for or first of all what i i can test for any of the compounds first i can add sodium bicarbonate to this if there is a effervescence of carbon dioxide gas then this confirms that there is a acid in this inorganic acid means carboxylic acid so this confirms there is a carboxylic acid there present if i added 2,4 dnp and if there is a orange to red color crystal then that confirms that there is a carbonyl compound now is there is acetone or not this that will not be confirmed by 2,4 dnp because 2,4 dnp confirms that there is a carbonyl compound that that carbonyl compound can be anything acetone propanone ethanol butanol propanol whatever if i have to confirm further that there is a acetone or not then there has to be a different kind of test that will be studying in the chapter further so this 2,4 dnp can be clubbed with other tests to make a proper to for recognizing properly which kind of compound is there and to zero down to which compound is present in the system so we will revisit this 2,4 dnp once we study few more reactions okay